evening everyone. This is uh, the coast. This is literally uh, the next village uh, to me. I don't come here nearly often enough and I should do. Uh, when I say the coast, uh, it's Winterton uh, Dunes. And uh, I don't know it well enough to immediately come here and, and say, oh, I want to photograph that, or I've been here before, I want to photograph that, and I should. Because, well, you've got to get out in your local area to appreciate what you've got and familiarise yourself with it. And I'm ashamed to say that I don't know this area well enough. Well, not this particular area. I, I know the beach further. You can't see my hand that way. Uh, I don't often walk up uh, the dune so much here. But I have this evening, and um, the first thing I've come across is, um, is, let me, I don't know whether you can see it. It's tracking me, silly thing. No, don't track me. Don't, don't, don't. No, stop tracking. Uh, there. Is it there? I, don't, I can't even see it. Yeah, there, anyway. Oh, good, it says subject lost. No, sod off. There, <laughs> look, there. That's a little clump of silver birches sticking out of the, the heather. Oh, it doesn't know where the heck it's looking, this thing, does it? There we are. Look, look, look. Here, there, there we go. Look, got me? Thank you. No. Yeah. Try that. Who bloody knows? And <coughs> I, I finally feel a little professional because I, I bought myself a heavy-duty tripod. I thought, well, I've bought it, I'm going to bloody use it. Uh, and actually, I do need it here because you can't get this shot in one exposure. Well, I don't think you can, at least. Uh, there's such a, a wealth of difference between the dark area, or well, you can see the dark area here on this, uh, on, on, on this particular bunch, uh, bunch, birch. Uh, I think it's a birch, oh, I don't know could be anything um, but yeah we've got the same problem there we've got dark foreground blown out uh, sky same over here and I don't think I'm gonna get that in one exposure I needed to uh, to shoot multiple exposures on it which is what I've done with this beast of a tripod uh, I'm not gonna tell you a great deal about it because you can't buy them anymore I buy so much of this stuff secondhand because it's cheap. It's great quality and it's cheap. It's been well looked after. Um, it's quite heavy. I'm not going to be carting it around everywhere with me, I suspect. But wow, it's, well, there we are. Anyway, I've gabbled on for, according to the timer on screen, four minutes and you're bored. I'm sure you're bored. So my apologies. Here comes the photo. Call me out, tiger. Call me out, why don't you Now I chose to go for a square crop of this because uh, what I didn't notice when I was shooting it was my shadow down on the left-hand corner. And um, rather annoyingly, on the full-size portrait of this, it looks a bit like a cock. So, Clearly, it had to go. I haven't walked far, in fact, uh, hold on, turn round and uh, I was over, just, just over there a few minutes ago. Because you can get all around this, uh, this tree and such. The sun's over there, you can see it lighting my face now. The side light is rather nice, it's hit this tree a couple of times uh, and I've now Changed my angle on it so the sun is hitting it on this this side of it. Oh, yeah. It's oh, it wants to follow me all the time. So this, uh, this face track on the Osmo Pocket is both a blessing and a curse. But anyway, getting a little bit of side track, side track, <laughs> oh, God, little bit of side light on it, uh, and uh, as the sun kind of dips in and out of those clouds. And I know you can't see it on this exposure here because uh, uh, it's the, the Osmo Pocket and the dynamic range isn't as good as we might like. But anyway, so I'm shooting this in, let's flip this. So I'm shooting this in 
portrait mode. I don't know how well you can see that. The histogram is actually a little bit more acceptable here, and I'm getting far more of the foreground in and pointing down ever so slightly. I might even come down ever so slightly more than that. Perhaps somewhere about there. And you can just about, although it, it's in the on the screen I can see, I, I can't see it in reality, but there appears to be some kind of purples in this heather, which on the screen are there. They're, they're really not there in reality, but yeah, you know, whether or not we make that into a, a photo with some purple heather or not, I, I don't really know. It's certainly on screen. Uh, I've got this set in HDR5 with a 3 EVF variation. I think that's probably overkilling it. Uh, perhaps I ought to do 5 with a 2 EV variation just to make sure that's what I'm achieving there. And uh, damn, the, the clouds have gone behind the clouds gone behind the sky again. Ah, oh. God, if only I didn't get my worms mixed up. The sun has gone behind the clouds again. Have you any idea how difficult it is editing all of these verbal mistakes out? I'm going to leave these in. Yeah, so the sun has now come out completely behind the tree and uh, I'm uh, working on a composition looking through the tree. Let's flip. Looking, I, I'm not sure how much of the, the tree you can see because I don't know what the exposure is like uh, on, from this uh, Osmo pocket, but uh, you can see that it's very bright behind it, but I'm getting the tree in silhouette with the sun bleeding through behind and again I'm working this as a multi-shot HDR so I can make choices with it when uh, we come to edit this in post in a little while I think I'm I think I'm done with the tree for the moment I think I've got all the angles on it I want <laughs> The light as it's hitting these grasses over here is gorgeous. I'm going to work with those. Looks like that sun isn't going to go behind a cloud for a while as well. So, yeah, and there's another bunch of trees catching some side light now as well. I'm going to have a look at those. Oh, boy, it's exciting. I've missed the light on these these uh, grasses here. Uh, annoyingly, just setting up. It's difficult to do video and photo at the same time, uh, or video vlogging and photoing, photoing, photographing, photography uh, at the same time. And when you're battling with sun and clouds and everything moving and such and you're losing the light it's ah i think i missed this opportunity it's still a nice shot i'm not going to take that away from it I'm, and i've got <coughs> a decent enough histogram here that require, doesn't require me to bracket this so uh, i'm not going to i made an old man Story. He took out an old pen and wrote something for me. Then he kept walking on down the road. 
Well, <laughs> I'm not as close as I thought I was. It's still a long way down there. Ah, and the fenced off area there, I suspect is for nesting terns, or little terns I think they are, which do love this beach. Now I do like this leading line of the path through these grasses. Let's try something with that. So there's this post up there that I don't really want in the shot. You can see my framing here. And whether it's focused on that, I think it has now. There we go. So you can see my framing there. I've, well, I really like this shot that uh, I've just taken. I've got a number of exposures. I'm going to edit them um, and uh, yeah, pull the colours out. Yeah, make sure they sky isn't blown out. It's rare that I get so many pictures that I really like in such a short space of time and I'm again thinking why the hell don't I come here more often? In actual fact I'm going to come here more often. I always go to Thurn and take pictures of windmills when I've got this beautiful expanse around me. Like, how can I ignore this? So so easily I just I yeah lesson learned I hope enjoy this photo because I think I think it's a keeper here it comes What I really like about this picture is just the moodiness of it. Now it's quite a long exposure, I think it's about 13 seconds. And we've caught the wispiness of the grass as it's been moved around by the, uh, the breeze. It's just that nice bright leading line through to a, a really moody skyline. And yeah, it, it just, it's just a nice shot. I think it works incredibly well. And I think all of the images that I took that evening work very well. Well, time for me to head back now. It's getting a bit dark. If you've enjoyed this, please hit the like button. Actually, just hit the like button anyway, because it will really help the channel out. Leave any comments below. And uh, I do return to this spot the same time tomorrow evening. So tune in again soon. Hey, if you're still here, why don't you click on one of those other videos that you've been shown. Hit that subscribe button and, uh, and don't forget to like. See you soon.